All right, what's poppin', weirdos? It's the Doom Prophet back at it again with progress report number nine for the Coffin of Andy and Lele. Uh, ignore the kind of bad green screen. It's three in the morning. I'm transparent, but you know I gotta get the I gotta get the news out for those codependency cannibal enthusiasts. Now, what's going on with the most controversial game on the internet? What have we got today? Let's look at the first screenshot as usual. Ashley looking just. Just rough, really beat. Uh, I hope this bruise over here isn't anything too suspicious. She also looks a little more tired than usual, I would say. And certainly, none happier for whatever the situation is. Now, we don't actually get any dialogue, so I don't, I don't think we can make any assumptions here, but definitely not the best condition we've seen Ashley in. Okay, uh, you now remember why you don't introduce Ashley to people. Well, we know why as the viewer, but what is the context of the situation here? They look to be outdoors? Maybe camping, actually. Are they speaking to people? Oh, wait. I think I think these are people. I thought these were like text box above their heads. Like it was like ellipses, like dot dot. But I think these are like maybe either placeholder assets or maybe this is sort of like an artistic representation of how Andrew and Ashley don't see other people as like real people. Hmm. That's that's kind of interesting, actually. Okay, let's let's dive into the meat of this and see how bad it is. I've heard advanced reports that it's going to be disappointing from someone that somehow reliably has advanced information. Now I don't know what that means. I don't know where they get the info. Is there some sort of conspiracy? Is there a cabal? Okay. Major revisions. The gameplay portion that was recently completed was fully reviewed this month, and special attention is needed for handling a new division between episodes 3A and 4. Previously, the amount of game-related content needed to execute on the script expanded way beyond its container, and it was decided the large part of episode 3 would be split off in a fourth episode. Okay, yeah, we know that already. However, problems with finding a graceful transition point persisted with no good solution. There is no satisfying or sensible endpoint between the episodes currently, and it is very likely the case that these episodes 3A and 4 require being shipped together as a result. Uh, oh. Okay, the author has stepped back, must be Nemle, to reevaluate the best approach. While we labored optimistically towards providing a release date, a hard decision to err on the side of quality has been made. Keeping to an arbitrary deadline with what exists currently would hurt the final result. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so the development sec will be prolonged by some additional months to address this entangling work between the next two episodes to avoid the development burnout. Okay, so it is as I feared. The October deadline, well, it wasn't a deadline, but we speculated that since episode two release on October for Halloween, we thought, hey, it'd be kind of cute if episode three released for Halloween. Clearly, that's not going to happen. They're saying it will take some additional months to develop this. So what does that mean? With previous productions partially having partly gone out the window, it may not be insightful to continue with the content estimations just yet as it isn't known yet if Episode 3A and its follow-up 4 are released at the same time, or if Episode 3A can be delivered before Episode 4's completion. Ooh, very interesting. So they might not even release 3A before 4 is done, because they kind of have to go together. Once the details shake out, there might be a better picture of how this dilemma will resolve. Additional information and consideration is needed to resume, providing the graphs. Oh, so they're not going to do those fancy graphs that they did last time, which were kind of nice. Huh. Work will steadily continue, but the horizon has been moved out of view for the time being. Oof. Well, it is as we feared. So, hold on. I'm getting kind of confused. Before we watch the video, which we will watch, I want to sort of map out what's going on in my head right now. Hold on. Okay, so... A long time ago, back when Nemli was still doing the updates, and they were called devlogs, it was like, okay, we have episode one, right? Which leads directly into episode two. Now... Based on an important decision you made in the at the end of episode two, I'm sure most of you know what that is, we're branching off into episode 3A and 3B. Now, initially, we were told, way back in like devlog, I don't know, devlog six. Also, these are burial and decay. I don't know which one's which. We were told that each of these would have ending, you know, one, two, three, four, right? Let's just call them that for now. And there has been much speculation on what these endings will be, right? One, two, three, four. Forgive my mouse hand. So now we're being told that the fourth episode is going to be tacked on to 3A. So instead of this, we're just getting episode four, 
which will have to be shipped at the same time as 3A because it's it's continuous with it. So the question is, will 4 still have the two endings or will 4 sort of be a continuation of one of the endings of 3A? So I see two different possibilities here. It could be like this, right? Where episode 4 has the two endings for 3A. Or there's an alter there's an alternate situation. Let's say it could be like this, right? Where 3A also has ending 2 and then 4 is just sort of like the other ending and this doesn't exist at all. I'm curious to see what you guys think about this, but I believe this to be the current structure if I'm understanding everything correctly. So this is why they're saying that 3A and 4 kind of have to go together because they're like one thing. So we're likely to see 3B, I guess, before this happens. So whatever episode 3B is, that's probably what we're getting next. But it's not going to be October. Let's, let's shoot for Christmas. Let's shoot for Christmas. Okay, back to the video. Holy moly, it's three minutes? Okay, Julian Andrew. Do you want to hear the kind of voicemails I have to sift through every day? Oh, we know what these are. Nah, I've had my fill. No, please listen to some more. Like, I have to, every day. You don't have to listen, Julia. Well, the thing is, Julia, you don't have to. Oh, no. <laughs> Andrew being based. Please, some of them are really interesting. <sighs> you watch him listen to Ashley describe your oncoming painful and slow death in brutal detail. And he looks like someone is listing him the groceries. Yeah. Is that it? What is this person? 12? I can't say the no-no words. YouTube will take my money away. Soon the tone of the messages change, and it's back to your... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, it, d they both know this is Ashley, right? So, th there's no pretense here? You're scanning his face for some sort of disgust or confirmation. But unlike the other day, Andrew seems over the whole thing. Was there some point as to why you're making me listen to this? It's just so oddly specific. I really get this feeling it's Ashley after all. Okay, so maybe they don't know. The voice is all distorted, but the wording and stuff just seems so her. Yeah. Like, who uses the word floozy in this day and age? That is a, it's a good question. There's some old-fashioned words in the vocabulary of the Kothamani Lele. Like hussy and floozy. These are kind of pretty ancient words, honestly. I sincerely doubt Ashley would say these things about me. Ah, uh, in reference to the... Well, you know YouTube. Are you angry? I'm not trying to insult her. I'm sure she just wants to rise ahead of me and says the worst thing she can think of. Jeez. Not like she wants... Not like she means it or anything, she just wants to be mean. I suppose that's possible. Do you agree it's probably her? No, isn't this just someone from college? You're really telling me some unknown girl is pretending to be your sister? Just so she can make me think you two are too close and therefore make me break up with you? Well, it's working, isn't it? Oh, things are on the rocks, huh? It's just very specific is all. How is it specific? It's the graves keep it in the family joke from high school all over again. Okay, so I guess the context of this is Andrew is at college. People gossip, and you have to admit the situation can seem a little off. Ooh. Julia, I really don't appreciate these insinuations coming from you of all people. Look at this, he's steamed. I can anticipate the fan art already. <laughs> oh. Okay, no, no, I'm sorry, that came out all wrong. He's backpedaling. What I meant was it's upsetting you'd think so lowly of me. I look at you and think, ah, oh, it's the most wonderful person in the world. While you look at me and go, huh, this piece of shit probably YouTube words his sister. It's, that's not what I said. I, I don't think that. No, don't cry. It's fine. I, I didn't mean to start a fight. Sob. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. That wasn't a fight. It wasn't a fight. And either way, I'll forgive you. I'll forgive you every time for everything, for anything. Whoa, because you're my beloved. My very own piece of work. That is some serious vocabulary right there. Nothing will ever frustrate me like you do. 
Oh, I love you too. I don't, I don't think that's what he said, Julia. Let's back up the tape. Well, actually, he did say beloved. That's that's sort of an implication. I don't know. Relationship experts, what do you think? Is that the exact same thing as saying I love you? I'm not so sure. My very own piece of work? Hmm. Is he trying to tell her she's a project girl? I'm not so sure I buy it. I don't need to hear this. Let's stay in after all. You forget what you want to talk to him about. Jeez. This is getting steamy. Okay, so there's one more thing we have to check before we can consider ourselves done with this update. And that is the secret piece of art. Let's see, open image and new tab. Oh, okay. So sometimes when you hover over the updates, there's like a piece of art that's not included. So for this, for this update, it is this, this cute couple. Wow. Okay. So actually I'm starting to think there might be a Julia ending guys. That's my conspiracy theory that's happening now. Okay. Wait, hold on. There's four innings possible. Previously, I sort of had a little conspiracy theory for each of them, but now given the attention that Julia is getting in these updates, I'm starting to think it's a real possibility that one of these endings is Andrew ends up with Julia. <sighs> well, YouTube, that's really the end of this update. Um, these baseless conspiracy theories won't be proven right or wrong for a long time because it got delayed. Essentially, that's it. If you want to sum up, the game got delayed. What, what can we do? We're not going to find out for a while. All right. I'll catch you later, YouTube. The end is nigh, so take it easy. And if it's easy, take it twice.